What is going on lads and welcome to a pretty awesome squad builder that I'm going to be bringing you today. We have got my favourite players from each position all in one team from the BPL Pokemon FIFA series. Now if you're not up to date with what that is there is a link down in the description to it where you can go and get caught up and see what's going on as it will be returning this Sunday with the City so mark that one down in your calendars. Also, this is a pretty expensive team, and if you want to go and pick it up and build it yourself, you're going to need some coins. So there's a link down in the description to where you can get some. That is UT Coin Traders, nice and reliable. So, let's move on and have a little look at the bench where we have got some honourable mentions. First up, we have got Ryan Noble. Now, this guy scored 27 goals, tw played 27 games, sorry, and scored 21 goals for me. So, not the best of records, but he was one of the first silver players that I got, I think. So he was playing in the silver tournament with a lot of bronzes behind him and most of them 21 goals were absolute screamers and in, at important times in important games so he became a bit of a cult hero like all three of the players on this bench in Pokemon FIFA like if you go on their foothead pages all, quite a few of the, top, the comments and the top comments are all about Pokemon FIFA and stuff like that which is pretty cool if I'm being honest I was really like pleased when I seen that it was absolutely mental to think that people are going on their page and commenting about them just because of my series on YouTube but absolutely awesome and this guy is basically just a cult hero in Pokemon FIFA so that is why we love him. Same goes for Reed who played 15 games and scored 14 goals so a slightly better record and an absolutely insane non-rare bronze player. You can get him for 200, 150 coins and he's just incredible. He's got 3 star weak foot isn't the best, 2 star skills isn't the best, 77 pace and 55 shooting again isn't the best but for some reason he's just absolutely incredible. I don't understand what it is but just pick this guy up, put him in your team, and you will see what I mean. He is an absolute beast. Same goes for Danny Kadamatri. Unfortunately, I had to buy a new one, so we can't see his goals in games. I don't know what I did with my one, but this guy's got three-star skills. He is the only really decent, shiny, bronze centre forward who is English. So I had like him or some guy with no pace at all to choose from, so I had to go with this guy. I was kind of forced into getting him, but luckily he turned out to be absolutely insane. And again, another little cult hero from the series. So let's move on now to the actual team. And we're going to start off with the goalkeeper, and it's pretty standard. It's just the highest rated goalkeeper, the shiny gold one that we used. Hugo Lloris, insane diving, insane reflexes. Pretty expensive, so if you wanted to pick up a cheaper goalie, you could go for our non-rare bronze, non-rare gold that we use. Sorry, that was Julio Cesar, but I absolutely love this guy, and I would highly recommend using him. Centre back, we have got a silver, and we need to put this on four three one two because otherwise we'll be searching for days to get down to the silver ones. So we have got ourselves Stephen Corker. Now this guy. In my opinion is one of the best centre backs on the game. You can put him in your gold teams and it doesn't matter like this team overall probably isn't the best team that I could have built from Pokemon FIFA because a lot of these players are only good at their own level. So I've got a bronze centre back who I'll just put in so you can see and he is insane when you're playing against bronzes and he's awesome when you're playing against silvers but with 63 defence and he does get caught out against gold so he's one of my favourite players from the series however when you put them all together in a team as they are different levels and different skills and stuff like that it doesn't quite work out the way you'd hoped so you can pick the best all silver team best all bronze team the best all gold team stuff like that maybe there's a couple of them who can punch above their weight like Corker and he can play in any team I've played them in teams again next to team of the year Sergio Ramos and stuff like that and this guy is just incredible so it's a bit of a weird one with them two as Osborne is probably my favourite centre back to use from the series. He scored some awesome goals and I've used him in other teams against Atsi just running the whole length of the pitch and smashing in the top corner. He's stupidly fast but he's not too good against against gold as you can imagine and having a couple of goal players in this team you have got to play in the gold tournament or online in the leagues which are obviously going to come up against sweaty gold teams anyway so if you're building a bronze team definitely definitely put this guy in your team however for golds I would steer clear and maybe put company or someone like that there it was also absolutely incredible I just didn't have the sentimental attachment to him like I did with Osborne. At right back we have got a silver so I need to turn it off bronze. So let's put it up onto any and he should come up anyway. And he does and it is Onua. Now this guy is so fast, so strong, so good at defending, good at heading and he's got the high defensive work rate. So almost all of the right backs that I use throughout the series have got a high attack and work rate and it really does annoy me. So that's why I went for this guy and links up nice and strong with Corker as well. So get a nice nine chemistry no matter who you put in front of him really. You can just use these two with each other. Stick Loris in goal gives another strong link to Corker and you've got yourself an absolutely insane goalkeeper, centre back and right back who both of them, Corker and Anua have got high defensive work rate. So they just sit back and do all the defending for you which is what you want. At left back we have got someone who isn't in formation as he does get a nice strong link 
to our centre mids. We didn't have to buy him in the right formation. And it is the most, in my opinion, all-rounded left-back on the game. 80 pace, 81 defender, 71 heading, decent passing, good dribbling. He's almost 80 in most of his stats, apart from shooting, which doesn't really matter. Although, I absolutely love Leighton Baines in real life and swear by the fact that Baines is better than Cole. In this game, Cole is much, much better than Baines is. He's just so much better at defending, which is what you need in your defence, really. I'm not a fan of these left-backs and right-backs who just go flying up the pitch like Danny Alves. So, I like them to be good defensively, and that is what you've got with Cole and Anua. Centre mid, I said we get a nice strong link, and we do. And it is going to be a silver, and we're going to put the formation back on, as I think these guys are in the right formation. So, if you put it back onto 4-3-1-2... You will see that we have got, first up, we've got the two Gardner brothers, basically, who I absolutely adore. One of the players, like I was saying before, who don't really hold their own when you move them up a grade. So, we put them that way around, as this one, uh, Sunderland Gardner's got a higher defensive work rate or something like that. But anyway, these two guys are insane. Ridiculous long shots, which is what I love them for. However, they can't really hold their own in a goal team, really. They, are, they do a job for you, but they don't really shine out like the other centre mid does, so I'll show you him now. And we've got David Silva, who is, in my opinion, the best right-sided centre mid in the game to cut in with his left foot. Although he comes as a cam, I think, naturally, he is very good at centre mid. Unlike some of the ones which just flop if you move them back a little bit, but this guy is absolutely quality at centre midfield. Shines so much better than these two. We were kind of just there, and every now and again will pop up with a long shot. Whereas when you play them in a silver team, they absolutely dominate the midfield. So I'd recommend maybe picking up Yaya Torre and maybe Kabai there. And you could even drop out Osborne then and put him company, and you'd still get yourself 100 chem. So you've essentially just turned it into the best gold and silver BPL players, really, because these two guys can hold their own. And you'll see if I put in the striker, who is my favorite player from the whole series, that is Mayuka. He can also hold his own in a gold team however with these two you probably want to drop them out and pick up some gold midfielders you can see we've already put in mayuka unfortunately he scored so many goals for me when i had him originally and i don't know why but i sold my one on and he lost his insane record so i've scored three goals in five games which isn't as good with this one five star weak foot is what makes him so good and that goes again for this guy here who is adult to wrapped five star skills and five star weak foot five goals in five games absolutely incredible player i love this guy so much and in my opinion is just the best center forward and in math denton's opinion absolutely raves about him all the time calls him to rabbit as you probably know he is just so so good and i would recommend him to absolutely anyone finally finishing off the team we have got Robin Van Persie, who I wasn't expecting to be quite so, as good as he was when I used him in the original series. He's only scored two goals. This team just didn't seem to work for me when I was using it. I'm not too sure why. I've got some goals to show you at the end, which I hope you will enjoy. But it just wasn't flowing for me like when I progressed up naturally. So I think it's because of the mix of all the levels and stuff like that. Whereas when I was playing with them originally, it was either an all-silver team or an all-gold team and stuff like that. But... Originally, I was expecting Aguero to be absolutely insane, and it turns out that Van Persie was the one scoring all the goals. His shooting is just incredible at 89, and I've used this team of the season card, and it's just even better. If I could, well, I could afford to do it, but he wasn't in the original series, but I would put his team of the season one up here. It is that good. If you can afford to buy it, go and buy it. It's incredible. If not, just get the normal one, and he is still absolutely insane. So that is the team, lads. They are my favourite players from each position from throughout Pokemon Fever. They are maybe not don't make the best team when put together just because of the difference in class. Like I said, you've got some my favourite bronze players can't really hold their own in a gold team just because they are my favourite. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend using this team. I'd recommend getting all of the players and building a right level team around them that you can use, but not necessarily all in the same team. But I hope you have enjoyed this video anyway. I'm going to have some goals for you at the end now. If you don't want to stick around for the goals, make sure you hit that like button before you leave. But apart from that, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you will subscribe if you are new here. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the goals and I will see you next time.